happy's unbelievers like Oh my, live every day like it's so tight guys welcome back to the channel today we are playing vampire the masquerade swan song and uh, this is my first time playing a vampire the masquerade game so I don't really know what to expect this song I mean not the song <laughs> this game just came out today uh, and I got it because it looked really cool um, I saw Chi Town Prodigy uh, react to the trailer and I thought why not give it a shot it looks really cool so let's get into it vampires walk among us unknowing we've built uh, their cities fought their wars and sated their hunger for centuries these creatures have been organized into rival sects oh shit largest of which is ah oh, shit Camar C C Camarilla yeah in its domains, Camarilla courts uh, enforce the masquerade, a global conspiracy hiding the existence of vampires from the mortal world. Breaking the masquerade is punishable by final death. Final death? In Boston, vampire factions have long been at war with each other's throats. After much conflict, Hazel Iverson, the new prince, uh... Has sealed a fragile pact with... Ah, god damn it. This is too fucking fast. You guys can pause it and read it. I'm done. <laughs> I'll read it on my own. Night. The undead will celebrate. Cool. What are we celebrating? Shit. Right. Big Bad Wolf Studio. Hold on a second. Let me see if I can pause it. To begin. Nope. Tell me. Fuck. What do you see? Uh, I don't know. Okay. Try this. Focus on your vision. Happening. Well, that's one way to start a game. Empire of the Masquerade Swan Song. Aisha. Did you feel it too? Take your stuff. We're getting out of here. Can I pause now? We've got a problem. I just turned off fucking Call subtitles. Alright, so if you do anything in the settings, make sure you press the uh, start button to apply it. I didn't do that the first time, because I'm stupid. I just turned off fucking subtitles. We must go quickly. Okay, so you can't do it all at once. Like, if you change something in game, in controls, and in setting, you gotta apply it to each fucking one. You can't just go to each one and then apply all. That's fucking dumb. Calm down. 
Maybe it has nothing to do with the party. You know full well I was in charge of it. If anything goes wrong, it's my head on the chopping block. Fuck. Damn it! It took Hazel months to convince the Hartford Chantry to ally themselves with us. So they finally accept, and then bam, a code red. There's never been a code red in Boston, damn it! This has gotta be bad, M.M. Dialogue. Oh. Using a skill consumes willpower. If your opponent wins, you gain a few willpower at the end of the dialogue. So, M. Psychology, success 100%. Okay, so she has nothing to hide. One thing at a time. So, this is the best choice. Because this is 0% and this is 100%. It's not like you had anything to do with it. I'm sure... You don't get it. I was in charge of organizing the party. But security is Jara's problem, Yeah, normally. except Jara is a member of the Primogen. I'm not. But you're a harpy. The prince will cover you. You know she's always looking for an excuse to take him down a notch. We'll see. What do we do next? When everyone's safe, we move on to phase two. We clean house. The code red. What's that symbol next to it mean? Did you say this is the first code red in Boston? Ever since the fall of London, protocol is no longer a laughing matter. Whatever. They've been harping on that for four years now. They took away our internet access, our smartphones. It's called risk mitigation, that's all. A code red is an alarm signal that's sent to everyone to say, watch out, we're all in danger. And everyone runs to shelter at the nearest safe house. For us, it's with the prince. But it could have been worse. I'd have preferred worse. You're not even listening to me. What do you mean by we clean house? Getting rid of our archives, our documents, anything that might betray our network and relationships. I kind of lie, their faces look kind of weird to me, but I'll, what comes after it won't bother two? me too much. Just pray that it never comes to that. Come on, tell me. We run, we leave everything behind, and we go into hiding as far from here as we can. There's no way I'm leaving Boston. Everything I have is right here in the city. It took me years to build my clubs. I've worked too hard to give it up now. You won't have a choice. I know you hate coming here. Are you gonna be all right? What do you think? I know how to behave, Jay. Yeah, I know. Just keep your cool and it'll be fine. Ah, my little darlings. You're here at last. The fear that something horrible had happened to you terrified me. No call for theatrics, April. The prince has to see you as soon as you arrived, Amin. I wouldn't dilly-dally if I were you. As for you, Journey, someone's triggered a code red. If anything has happened over there, I'll hold you personally responsible. Empires have supernatural abilities inherited from their clan. Hunger. Using a discipline generates hunger. Okay. And if my hunger gets too low, then I start looking kind of funky, huh? Okay. Why is the percent still zero? That sucks. Guess I'll just flatter April. <laughs> you know, back in the day, nobody could bat an eyelash without you knowing about it. You must know exactly what Jay is being blamed for, don't you? In men. My dear Amen, I adore you. Really, I do. But darling, please, you're way out of your league here. <laughs> this alliance with the Hartford Chantry is crucial. The prince is on edge. 
We can't get through to anyone over there. Mm, what does this have to do with Jay? She was in charge of the whole thing, for goodness sake. Listen, both of you. From now on, I don't want to hear another word out of either of you. The prince is furious. Journey, you're coming with me. I don't see why. And as for you, Hazel wants to see you. He right just talks now. so much shit. She sounds like a child. <laughs> kind of annoying, I'm not gonna lie. It's gonna be a long night. Can I go faster? Miss Lewis. It won't be so long if Welcome. we can go faster. Hey, how you doing? Can I can I eat you or are you vampires too? I don't want to talk to you. What are you looking at? Who's she, Caleb? M.M. Lewis. She smiles like a Toreador. Letters etched in bold right upon her teeth. What, what about that bearded guy who's swallowing his bile? Dejan Siaka. A Tremere warlock, then? Keep him at a healthy distance. With a sideward glance, he could make the blood in your veins boil. It's our second character. Is court attendance usually this sparse? Usually more of us. Everyone should have been at the party. She's talking too much. Mm. Let's go with there's usually more of us. Under ordinary circumstances, there would be more of us here. Is it because of the code red? Could be. We should have all been at that party. But a code red is a code red. No one can read. I'd hate to be Caius right about now. Why? He's second honcho of house security. This promises to be a busy night. I know what you mean. It's one thing to have been told that the Nosferatu don't age well. It's another thing to see it for yourself. It's by no fault of their own. Do you think you'll be able to ask the prince tonight if you can embrace me? No. Now is no longer the time. What is embrace? And he is your child? Mr. Beryl Underwood. He's his son? Is he not a vampire? He's a real shark. He's one of the members of the Primogen. I don't want to talk to her about it. Let's go with this one. I want to learn him. more. He's a member of the Primogen. They're the check to the prince's power. The check and balance. They backed Hazel when she rose to power after Quentin King. They'd hoped to control her. What? Things didn't go as planned? I just have a feeling she will surprise them. Never forget that the court is a chessboard. We are monsters. And we sacrifice pawns. If you want to be a major piece, then behave accordingly. But... Nothing can happen to you here. We're in the prince's house. She must be finished by now. Wait for me. This won't take long. It's out of the question, M.M. I won't let her get away with this. All right. Calm down, Dijon. Where's Journey? What's it to you? Don't start with me. She was in charge of the party. She has to take responsibility for this. Leave her out of it. It's too late for that. Don't waste your time covering for her. She's not a kid anymore. I haven't heard from my child, and no one's able to get through to them over there. Go on, then. Go and save Imani and stop wasting your breath. There are rules. Need I remind you? We're all stuck here. You're such a good boy. You'll never change. Dijon! What? Oh, come on, Hilda, she needs to grow up. Leave us. I mean, he's not wrong. She's been acting bratty since we saw her. I don't need 
need your help. Mem, please, stop calling me that. I was worried about you. You still haven't moved on, have you? You're always getting in my way. Lower your voice. People are staring. Yes. Huh. That's interesting. How do I use that? Oh. Which one should I use? Intimidate. Rhetoric does. Oh, okay, there it goes. I thought I had to press it down on the stick. Does she know anything about the code red? It's only a 30% chance. Oh, okay, I can increase it more. She shouldn't mind her own business. Let's do this one. Ah, shit. Damn it. <laughs> I could increase it even higher though. Do you know what this code red is all about? You're in the primogen. You must know something. I'm in the same boat as the rest of you. Apparently it was from one of Moore's retainers. That's all I know. You're Who's a fucking that? liar, Jason aren't you? Moore. Don't you remember him? He's the human who manages our interests when the sun comes up. He handles our assets, errands with the banks. What does he have to do with this? I don't know. It now seems that Miss Hazel Iverson, the mighty Prince of Boston, is no longer on speaking terms with the primogen. As if now were the ideal time. She asked to see me. Do you know why? My best guess is that she'd like to talk to you about Journey, of course. I always warned you that girl was trouble. Yeah, sure. I've got to go. Hazel must be upstairs. I'd better hurry. How do we get upstairs? What about Jara? I haven't seen her. Counselor Drory is not here. Guess we can't go that way. Oh, there's an elevator right here. I'm dumb. I was literally looking for stairs. <laughs> what a shitty night. Hazel must be. What the fuck? Why is everything floating? So far this game seems a little... Not what I was expecting, but it's... It's okay. I need to play a lot more of it to get a real feel for it, but um, right now as it stands, I can't see this being more than a wait for a sale on this. Nothing, Pumpkin. Penny for your thought? You saw pictures again? She's adorable. You're not going back to the Institute, are you? No, don't fret. I'm gonna stay here with you now. I don't like it when Richard takes you away. He's my psychiatrist. He's helping me so I can be with you. Mom has a little trouble sometimes, remember? I see things that haven't happened yet. And I forget others. Yes, I know. And you have to slumber so you can rest all alone sometimes. She has three a list. Years was too long. She slept for three years? What the fuck? It seemed like an eternity without you. I missed you too, Mom. I need my sweet little monster. Mom? What's going on? Why does everybody look so upset? 
I think something serious is happening. He's so I'm cute. Worried. I still haven't seen Richard. I looked for him so he could explain, but he can't be found. So what do we do now? Uh, I was told to wait here because Hazel wants to see us. There are grown-ups coming, and your mother needs to talk to them. Oh, then I'll go hide because grown-ups talk to me too much. <laughs> if you want, sweetie, but don't wander off. Go on. Show me what you do to make sure no one spots you. Okay. Here I go. Those powers? Is she a vampire? What? I need an explanation now. It's been a while. Hey, Amen. All three of our protagonists. When did you get out? Just tonight. Hazel wanted to see me. That means she's extremely worried about the situation. That or she's a major drama queen. You shouldn't make light of the situation, believe me. There aren't many of us who have experienced a code red and survived. Thanks for the heads up, Professor Bazori. First Siaka, now you. Why won't anybody give me a break tonight? Maybe you asked for it. Or maybe if you behaved in a manner more appropriate to the circumstances and our setting, then you'd better understand why everyone is so nervous. Really don't like her. She's kind of annoying. She's got no big shirt and no business lecturing me. Well, let's say he he's asked for it. No, uh, yeah, let's go for that one. Stop it right there, Bazori. Don't take that tone with him. I choose what lessons to take. We must all remain calm and accept any help we can get, even from the most unusual sources. That's surprising to hear. Coming from a blue blood. At least your certainties come from a more solid source than a prophecy from a child of Malkov. You don't know what you're talking about. All I'm saying is that whatever the problem is, your hallucinations aren't going to help us solve it. We're all in danger. When I awoke, I sensed a threat everywhere, all around us. I've never felt anything like it. Please, explain. It was as if we were all going to disappear into chaos. But you're probably right. It's just Hazel and her flair for the dramatic. Only time will tell. Good evening, ladies, sir. The prince shall see you now. All right, let's go. I thought this was a loading screen of some kind. What the hell is this? Rebellious star, a diva who lights up Boston nights. Choose a profile. Investigator, jack of all trades, veteran free. Mm, both investigator for her. I guess character sheet. Okay. Discipline menu. This is a little overwhelming. <laughs> Let's just apply. Uh, hold to apply, I guess, because I can't do anything. Hazel. Come in, M.M. Is she the prince? Or is he? I wanted to have a word with you. What can I do for you? Seems that I'm glad she's the prince. It's been a long time since we last saw each other. Tell me, where were you tonight? Like everybody else, I suppose. At home, getting ready for the party. How fortunate you weren't running early. Why? What's happened? You know what the code red means. There was a breach. This is intolerable. These agreements were supposed to celebrate the power of my court. 
Instead, I've been made to look a fool in the eyes of my allies. We'll have to increase our diplomatic efforts with the warlocks. Send new emissaries to Osborne. What's that got to do with me? Don't you worry about that for now. We have more urgent matters to attend to. We bring Journey to me. What do you want with her? I have a few questions I need to ask her. If mistakes were made, I need to know what happened. I'm sure that your I want to know what happened. Have a lot to tell me. It's not her fault. She hasn't done anything. Hazel, I'll be the judge of that. All right. Yes, my prince. I'll be right back. I didn't bring you here just for that. I have something to offer you. I'm listening. It's about the Primogen Council. You know everyone who's in it. Beryl, Richard, Hilda. Their support was much appreciated after the disappearance of the previous prince. Quentin King. But now, they've become an obstacle. It's been going on for months. They systematically oppose everything that I do. It must stop now. Keep silent. I can't use uh, willpower or anything, so I guess I'll just keep the silent Camarilla then. Maria has faced many challenges in the past few years. Many of our strongholds have fallen. I won't let Boston suffer the same fate. But for that, I need loyal allies. Also, how would you like a spot in the Primogen? I. Uh, what? You've always taken care of your community, M.M., without ever asking for anything in return. It kind of hard to believe. It time you took a leading role in the community's affairs. Hilda won't let you do it. She'll never see me as her equal. Being seated next to her child? She'll feel humiliated. I'm her prince. She will obey me. She's not gonna like it. I don't care. What I'm offering is much bigger than all that. What do you think? You think about it, I guess. I don't know. I need to think about it. Time is of the essence. You're a businesswoman, M.M. I know you'll be up to it. But we'll talk about it again soon. In the meantime... I know. Jay, I'm going to go see Sylvia first. I need to clear my head. Do it. You won't be able to hunt tonight. It's better to be prepared. Bring me Journey. I will. I have the utmost confidence in you, M.M. Do not fail me. You can count on me. Dialogue is a little is going on? weird. Yeah, I, I definitely wouldn't have paid full price for this game. I should have looked into it a little more. But it seemed, the, the story seems pretty interesting so far. M.M., I'm happy to see you in one piece. Hey, Syl. I'd like some refreshment, please. Of course, I'll get you a glass. I was thinking more like a vessel. Oh, serve yourself. But try not to damage them, okay? They're all I've got left in stock. Oh, there's I humans here? Be careful. I'm right here if you need anything else. Interesting. The hunt safe zone is a place where no one can see you feed. Okay. Interesting. Alright, this is where we're going to end for today. Uh, I don't know. I've got mixed feelings about this game so far. i got to play more of it. I'll uh, play again next Thursday. I would like to play more, but i got a bit of a late start. Uh... So this is where we're going to end. Thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe for more. And I will see you in the next one. Peace out. No matter what, I'm going to put up a fight. Damn right, I got to survive. Moving through the dark, trying to make it to the light. Can't be caught slipping, I won't be dead by day.